President of a nonprofit serving the local National Guard 162nd Fighter Wing has been sentenced for embezzling money from the organization. But another nonprofit tells the News 4 Tucson investigators that the crime is having an impact on the honest work they're trying to do for the National Guard. Of course, Nylander has more on tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. It was a dark moment in the history of the Jimmy Jet Foundation, a nonprofit set up in honor of one of the 162nd's greatest heroes, its former president using tens of thousands of dollars for personal means, but the damage goes much deeper. The Jimmy Jet Foundation is a nonprofit created in honor of the legacy of the late Arizona Air National Guard F-16 crew chief Jimmy Jet Bracamonte who suffered a paralyzing accident in 1993. His home needed repairs, and from there, a mission of serving those who serve was born, a mission without a blemish, until Amy Lynn O'Neill. Three weeks ago, O'Neill was sentenced to four years of probation and 30 days in jail. After the Attorney General's office charged her for embezzling more than $84,000 from the organization from October 2019 to May 2021. Using the money for personal mortgage payments, credit card payments, ATM withdrawals and personal purchases. I feel like anytime there's an issue with a nonprofit that every other nonprofit in Tucson has to take a step back and reiterate their mission and show their importance. Carrie Middleton is the president of the 162nd Air Guardians, another nonprofit serving the 162nd Fighter Wing. She says they are not associated with the Jimmy Jet Foundation, but with news of what happened and their similar missions, people have been wrongly connecting the two. We are completely separate from them, have always been and always will be. She says they have many safeguards in place, assuring their staff don't violate the trust of supporters. We have a huge system of checks and balances on our board um, to avoid situations that might cause us to be in the uh, limelight for a negative reason. I feel the work that we do is very important uh, to support the mission of the, of the 162nd and the families of the 162nd. Bobby McGee is the Air Guardian's vice president. He's a Navy veteran with a family history tied closely to military service. My background in, in the military is very deep. He says 4th of July was a busy time to gain support for their mission. He hopes the actions of O'Neill will not make people hesitate to support the National Guard. We still have strong support out there. We do everything we can to stay positive um, and do what we can do for the 162nd Wing Airmen and all of its members. O'Neill pleaded guilty to all of the charges. She was ordered to pay back the more than $84,000. According to court records, she's already paid back about $65,000. Investigating for you, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.